Good morning, Internet. Um, today I was going to edit some of my YouTube videos to include links to the applications um, so you could download them, and I figured, well, if I'm going to do that, I might as well do a little walkthrough of the Android market just so people have an idea of what Android rolled out this week. Um, so this is a web browser version of the Android market that you can browse from your computer. Um, works on PC or Mac since it's through a browser. And this just rolled out on Wednesday, I believe. Um, so this is fairly new. I don't know how many of you know about this yet, but here's a video with a quick walkthrough to it. So you can see here's the Android Market homepage. And to s sign into this, you just use the same account that you use for your market on your phone. And, uh, you know, you don't have to sign up for anything. It's It uses your existing credentials, so that's nice. Uh, at the top here, we have kind of a bigger version of the app carousel in the mobile market. So if I just click on this arrow here, you see it takes me over to another app that is a featured app. And I could just scroll through some of their featured apps that way. Um, also scroll down, you can see we have a set of tabs Went a little too far there we have a set of tabs up here uh, this is the categories and same as the mobile again just all the applications broken up into categories and then we have the featured applications over here I could see them by the ones that are just paid applications or I could see them by the ones that are free applications and one of the things I have noticed with this, um, again, since it is new, I'm guessing there's still some bugs to be worked out. For example, Android Task Killer, I do not have that installed on my phone. I did a while back before the Froyo 2.2 update came out, uh, but I since uninstalled it, and this guy still thinks it's installed. Um, so again, just some kind of kinks to work out there I think um, but hey it's pretty convenient and it's a lot nicer looking than AppBrain which um, if you're not familiar with AppBrain that was your only alternative to browsing for applications on the market until Google rolled this out this week um, I still like app brain a little better just because you can do installs and uninstalls from it um, not directly but you can do bulk installs and uninstalls and I'll do a separate video on app brain um, but just you know talking about some things that I like and don't like about this new market um, another thing which app brain had conveniently given you was the ability to share all of your apps um, with friends. I haven't seen a way to do that in this market uh, version, this Google version of the market, but that might be coming sometime down the line, I'm not sure. But for right now, not really an easy way to share your applications from here. Uh, one cool thing that you can do is you can install directly to your phone from the internet. So, let me pick something that I normally wouldn't have on my phone. Uh, I'm just going to pick something here. Let's go with sports. Most people that know me know I don't really care for sports, so the odds of me having anything sports related on my phone are pretty slim. So, let's... Yahoo Fantasy Football. Sure. So I'm going to click install on this, and it gives you this little pop-up here, and install on my, the marker, that's what I call my phone, um, I think that's a Dead Space reference, but anyway, so it tells you this application has access to the following, and I'm just going to go ahead and say install. And I'm going to pause the video for right now 
so that I can switch to my phone screen and you can see that it's going to start installing on there so I'm going to pause this real quick okay recording again and uh, sorry for the break there but anyway yeah so here's the install page um, just click on install and it's going to say it's going to be downloaded to your device shortly so if I bring up my phone you can see the little download arrow up here and it says installing and so pretty nice um, feature to be able to just install from the web straight to your device and your phone does not have to be connected to your computer to do this um, it'll it'll happen all wirelessly so again pretty nice convenient feature you don't have to be plugged into any computer and it will install for you so if I pull my notifications tray down you can see that Yahoo Fantasy Football has now been installed on my phone and I'm going to open up my application drawer and let's find it in there um, maybe it's under F for fantasy football. Yeah, okay, so here it is. I'm just going to drop it on my home screen so you can see that it has been installed on my phone. Um, again, I don't like sports, so I'm going to just go ahead and uninstall this. And say OK. And the drag and hold to uninstall that's kind of a feature of Launcher Pro so again if you want to check out Launcher Pro I did another video on that one which I will post a link to Launcher Pro in this video's description as well as the video for Launcher Pro that I did so that's pretty much it for the phone screen uh, back to the market web page say OK um, again, so pretty nice thing to have on your web browser. Um, gives you all the same information for all the applications that the mobile uh, application does. Just lays it out a little differently. Um, so it's a little cleaner to look at. You can see we still have all the same information as in the market on your handset just laid out in a different way so that's it for the Android market on the web browser if you have any questions comments suggestions please leave them in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching